Hello, and thank you for tuning in today. Um, if you have not subscribed to this channel, uh, you can do so by hitting the subscribe button. And if you don't want to miss any future no um, videos, then hit the bell at the top and you will it will notify you every time I post new content on here. So, I'm so excited today. I know this is a little bit late, but what I wanted to share with you today is our new fall and winter new releases. So, so excited. They smell so, so, so good, y'all. So, this is what I send out to my customers and let them um, smell all of the scents in August and I'll send them um, three of the scents or two of the scents each month throughout um, the fall and winter season. So, let's get to smelling. So, let's see, the first one, and I just have. Ooh, that's what they look like. So, I'm just going to go off the top and pull it off. I've got the scent descriptions. I'm going to smell them with you. So, we're going to see what these smell like. So, first one up is black currant and plum. Mmm, black currant and plum. Mmm, very fruity. Very, very, very fruity. I love this one actually. Mmm. Very fruity. You can definitely smell the plum. So, I really don't know what black currant actually smells like. I've drank it in tea, but I really don't know what it smells like. So, let's read the description here. Dark plum and wild black currant emboldened sweet apple for a temptation you won't want to resist. Mm. So dark plum, wild black currant, and sweet apple. So definitely very fruity. No spice at all. Just fruitiness. So if you like fruity, this is your scent. Black currant and plum. So amazing. So next one. Huckleberry Hideaway. Can you tell it from the south? Huckleberry. Huckleberry Hideaway. Now this one. It's very fruity. But it's like I almost get a musk in there. So let's see. Huckleberry Hideaway says, Fresh picked huckleberry, mountain violet, and crisp white woods create the perfect retreat. I really love this one and it's because because I love woodsies. Okay, I love what I love every scent category, okay? I love some out of every one. I don't love every one, every scent in every category, but I do love some scents in every category. So I do love fruity, I love fresh, I love woodsy. Woodsy is probably my favorite. Um like Mystery Man, my hero um, business casual those were all really 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 good I love those so this one here is a very good like I said oh man it makes me want to think of a cabin in the woods and you're going out you're picking your blueberry you know your huckleberries you know or kind of like blackberries things like that and you're bringing them back in you know just all the sense that you get while doing that and then you know like you're gonna can them or cook them down for a pie you get all of that. So you definitely get that flowery uh, mountain violet in there. And you definitely get the crisp white woods in there. And But the Hulkleberry gives the woodsy the very much a run for its money. So it is. It's a nice purple wax. So anyways, very pretty. The black currant was more of a burgundy. I don't know if you can see that. But anyway, so... Two out of two, really good. So let's see what this next one says. Falling apples. So I think this one is all fruity too. Let's see. Ooh. Mmm. This is like fall wrapped up in a package. Ooh, definitely have all the fruitiness of the. I still smell it. You have all the fruitiness of the of the. But it's once again, it's kind of like Huckleberry Hideaway. There has to be some kind of musk or some kind of woodsy in that. And so, look at that. It's a pretty red. Falling apples. And that is, take a stroll through an orchard lined with crisp apple, acorn, and oak. All right. So, last season, last fall and winter, they had the toasted oak and acorn, which was really good. 
and I love mixing it with cranberry. So I would do two of those and then two of like the snow kiss cranberry or there was a um, just a straight cranberry and I absolutely loved it. I also put it with um, Be Merry and Christmas Cottage too. It was really good. I love mixing stuff though. It's the chemist in me. I'm gonna love this falling apples. Very fruity, it's gonna be like Huckleberry Hideaway. It's gonna be a favorite because it's got a good mix of the fruity and the woods in there. And I am a country girl, I was raised in the country and I absolutely love anything that reminds me of strolling through the woods or gathering berries or all the things that we used to do um, out in nature. I absolutely love it. Falling apples is gonna be a favorite. So, all right, all of these I have smelled just the one time. I do like all of them. But anyways, you're gonna see what my favorites are. And I will create um, a, a six pack, Brandy's favorite six pack. And I'll post those, I will link those down below too. Mm, the next one is Frosted Vanilla. Who are my vanilla lovers? If you are a vanilla lover, please comment on this video. I am a vanilla lover, if I'm a fruity lover, please tell me. I'd love, I'd love to read the comments. Mmm, frosted vanilla. You definitely get your vanilla in there. I'm trying to think of what it reminds me of, though. It's like there is a Bath and Body Works that I, I can't do anymore, but it's like there was a um, lotion or a body wash at Christmas time that was close to this, but I can't think of which one it is right now, so maybe that'll come back to me. Let's see what this description says. It says a wonderland of sweet vanilla bean and birch bark with a rush of frosty air. So if you like fresh, clean scents with a hint of vanilla, then you will love the frosted vanilla. That will be a favorite. Noel, that's what it was, that, that vanilla bean threw me. But the little scent called Noel, it's a Christmas edition of Bath and Body Works. This here is very, very, very similar. You don't really smell a lot of the birch bark. I'm gonna say this smells like a vanilla with um, maybe like the best in snow, which had frosty air and maybe just a hint of uh, sweet mint. But yeah, I'm just thinking of straight vanilla with a frosty air is really what you're, you're getting here in the frosted vanilla. So maybe when we warm it, maybe we'll smell a little bit more of that birch bark, I'm not sure. So frosted vanilla is another favorite <laughs> it will not be it will not probably be my favorite because I am more of a pumpkin and spice type person but my mom will absolutely love that one okay so the next one up sips of cider absolutely love mm, let me see let me see let me see Mmm, who loves apple cider or what is your favorite version of like an apple cider or apple orange cider um, in the fall? I have to keep smelling them, y'all. Okay, sips of cider. Now this, I, I smell the cinnamon and I definitely smell apple and orange in this, okay? Something else I can't put my finger on, so let's read it. Lively blood orange steeped with sparkling ginger and cinnamon stick. Okay, so it's got the blood orange. I'm not sure why, maybe my apples and oranges are getting a little confused since I was still smelling apples over there. Definitely citrusy, um, definitely cinnamon. And so the other little thing that I was not, couldn't put my finger on was the sparkling ginger. So, so very amazing. Um, I like that one. That one's a really good one. That one will probably be part of my six pack. Probably will. All right, Velvet Moon. I love these colors. I love that they got a variety of colors, so I absolutely love that. Ooh. Mmm. Velvet Moon. What do y'all think in this? Mmm. Let me smell that again. So this definitely has got some woodsy in it. It's definitely... It's, it's, it reminds me of Business Casual and Mystery Man. For some reason, it's like just go into that category in my mind. So let's read and see what it says. Okay, Velvet Moon, soft vanilla flower and white musk. There you go. 
glow behind a silky layer of foggy mist. So it's nice and fresh, but also woodsy. So fresh, woodsy, it reminds, yeah. So that's what it's reminded me of, just a mountain, snowy, not that I've had much of that, but a couple times I have, it's triggered that in my mind. Nice cabin outside, snow on the ground, just you know what, if Hallmark had a scent for their Christmas theme shows, this would be it, okay? Mm -hmm. This would be it. So, absolutely love this one. Velvet Moon will be in my top six. It will be, I know. Because I do. I love that white, that soft white musk, and I love soft vanilla with it. Foggy mist, oh yeah. Uh, that'll be in my top six. I know it. I may just have a top ten. I don't know. So, hmm. See what this next one is. This is a very pretty one. It reminds me of the cashmere corduroy, but this is called Cran Apple Crumble. Cran Apple Crumble. So I'm thinking just by the name, it's going to be something bakery scented. So you pop it out of here. Ooh. Mmm. Definitely smelling the cranberry. Almost smell like a pecan. Or maybe a toasted acorn or something like that like a cranberry, like a crumble cake or something like that. So let's see what this says. Hmm, cran apple crumble. Baked cran apple topped with brown sugar and a dollop of whipped cream. So it's definitely got all the bakery that you want of a, like a, a cranberry and apple cobbler with a crumble brown sugar and pecan crumble on top. Caramelized brown sugar and throw some pecans in there. Oh my goodness. And of course the whipped cream on top. Oh yes. Mmm. Bakery all the way. You will not be disappointed. Cran apple crumble. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, I just said top six and I've just made a top six, but let's see what's on these other ones. Okay. I may have to mix to change them out. Perfect day. Perfect day, but it's pear. Pear, and you got your green, different color. Ooh light. Let's see if I can get it out. But it seems to be a light, um, like a fresh fruity. Definitely getting the pear. Mm, what is that? Can't put my finger on it. It's not necessarily a spice, but it's, hmm, let me see. Let's see. Pear big day. Autumn pear mixed with spiced syrup and a spirited splash of bourbon that's what i was not getting so because i'm not a drinker but that's what i was not getting but i love the smell like so last year they had vanilla bourbon um and it was amazing i got it in a cream shave soap on one of the clearance cells and the body wash and it is so good like my husband was so, he was like, I wish they would bring this back. And so, and the body wash was amazing. And so was the, um, the shaving, shaving soap. So that's what that is. So, ooh, that's, but it's very light. So if you like fruity, you'll like that. Um, a, you know, it's not like super sweet, but it does, it doesn't have like straight cinnamon in it, but you can tell there's a little bit of a spice in there, but you just can't really tell which one it is. And so, um, so it's not heavy, so, but it really brings out that autumn pear. Um, and so this is good. This is good. Not sure. I didn't, I did not think I would like that one that, one that good, but anyways. So the next one, white amber and silk, white amber and silk. Now I know I'm going to love this because for the spring and summer we had, um, white amber and teak. So, and I absolutely loved it. It was one of my favorites. We used it in our bedroom um, because both my husband and I both love it. It has a romantic scent to it. Just creates everything you want to create. This is very much like it except for this. Here's what I'm going to say. Okay. The white amber antique was very strong and it was not like a cologne necessarily, but it had some hints of it. Okay. This here is like a softer, more feminine version of that, if that makes sense. And I'm not sure why. Maybe because it has silk instead of teak. Maybe that. But this is amazing. I love this one. This will be, this will definitely be in my top 
top sticks because I absolutely love white amber. So let's see what white amber antique says. Warm amber and bergamot are wrapped up in comforting cotton for a smooth finish. So comforting cotton, I absolutely love. Well, I like pink cotton and lavender cotton too. So, but um, but yeah, warm amber and bergamot. I love bergamot, love driftwood, all those little things. So, because I do love a good woodsy, um, earthy type um, fragrance, cologne, musky. I like that. And this here really hits that. So um, this it would be considered woodsy all the way if you don't like smelling like. And this is a soft, would be a soft musk, okay? Soft. Soft bergamot. It's got the warm amber. Very good, very good. Mmm, gonna love this. So, white amber and silk. So, the feminine version of white amber antique. So, if you love white amber antique, you're gonna love this one. If maybe white amber antique was too strong, but you kind of liked it, this here you will probably love because it is a softer or almost seems like a more feminine. Um, version of that. So anyways, let's see what's next. Blackberry Spice. Blackberry Spice and it's a nice deep purple. We're in the autumn so it's great. Ooh, Blackberry Spice. So I'm thinking it's gonna be kind of like a Blackberry Cobbler is what I'm, by the name is what I'm thinking. Definitely get the um, spice in there. Definitely get the blackberry, the sweet fruity. Something else in there. I can't put my finger on this. Let's see. Let's see. Ripe blackberry bundled up with cedar wood and fresh clove. So the spice is not cinnamon, it is clove, so it's going to be a little bit different than what just straight cinnamon stick would be. Just really helps it blend in very well. And the cedar wood is what I could not put my finger on. Love this. I love fruity and, and woodsy. So if you have a bunch of woodsy and you're like, ah, oh, I just don't really care for them, if you will mix them with some fruities, I'm sure that you will love it. If you're like, oh, I don't like fruity, but you may like flower, then I would put a floral with it. So um, like a jasmine or a violet or a lavender. And a lot of times it will tone it down and balance it out and make a very, very comforting fragrance. So yes yes blackberry cobbler in the cabin in the woods mm. yeah this is really really good so let me see here let me see here I know white amber and silk would be in there just thinking back over it I know the velvet moon would make it and I know falling apples and huckleberry hideaway would make it and I know let's see what's another one that really, hmm, that's four. So let's get two more. Hmm, blackberry spice or black currant and plum? I don't know. Um, I'm gonna take black currant and plum and sips of cider. Sips of cider. Okay, we're gonna do this as Brandy's six pack, and that will be sips of cider, black currant and plum, huckleberry hideaway velvet moon and white amber and silk we'll see if that changes after i warm them but to be quite honest i can't say i did not like any of them because all 10 of these i absolutely do love these are really great scents they definitely fit the theme for fall and winter some of them i would do more in the fall like the sips of cider um, like the blackberry spice, um, things like that. Um, in the evening times when it gets cool, I would do velvet moon or white amber and silk. Um, especially keep that, um, like in my bedroom, bathroom, that area. And then, um, but as closer it gets to Christmas time, cran apple crumble would be really good. Black currant and plum. Um, those would be really good. Um, perfect day would be a good blend between the two seasons would be a, excellent almost like the scarlet sunflowers were which did make the catalog in so we have all the new releases and if you will comment down below if you're interested in receiving some of these then becoming a customer of my, customer of mine then drop your name below and I will we will message one another and we will get some swap so that way I can add you to my mailing list um, I'm always looking to grow my customer base and to uh, find new people to spoil and um, so it's gonna be so amazing and 
trust me, you will want to get this 10 pack. So you could get two of the six pack bundles and get all 10 of them plus two additional. So you could get um, two where you buy the 10 and you get two free. You actually buy five and you get one free, but if you do that twice, you'll actually get all the cents and then you can get two of your favorites. Um, so you can get doubles of two of them. So, or you can just choose something else in the catalog. So you can have 12 different cents if you would like that. Um, if you can't decide, and that's probably what I'm gonna have to do because these are all amazing, okay? You can always mix or match in those bundles. It is buy five for $30 and get one for free. So you could buy two of those bundles um, and get 12 of the bars for $60, which is an amazing deal. And um, you can mix or match. You could get a bundle of six of them, all of it Velvet Moon if you want to, or all of it Crineapple Crumble. Or you can mix and match and get one bar of each one of the scents plus two more either from the catalog or a double up on one of your favorite scents from there. So hopefully that is helpful. You can always um, uh, choose three of them, save a dollar. So um, do three packs as well. You can also, if you don't have a warmer, then we have our perfect Scentsy warmers, which are amazing. So you can get a um, either a mini warmer or, or a full size warmer with either a three pack or a six pack. So, and you save even more money that way. So I will, um, drop the link to my website um, in the description and then just go to my men uh, go to my website when you click on that website you can go to my menu and then um, click wax and warmers and so and then go down to the bottom and it says bundle and save okay because you can buy them individually without the discount or you can hit that bundle and save and you can scroll through and say oh this is the bundle that I want so you can customize your own bundle and choose your own wax your own warmer all the things while saving money which is why I'm doing this video is to be able to sniff these with you so you get to see what you do what you like and maybe some that eh, no I'm not gonna like that and um, and also seeing what a perspective from someone else like okay what are you really smelling and what am I supposed to be smelling these are probably the most accurate I've ever smelled before so that is amazing and uh, so amazing so so anyway these are really good so if you need any if you have any questions please drop those in the comments i will get back with you as soon as i can um, but i guarantee you it will be within the same business day so and if it's after hours then i'll get back with you with it at the on the following business day and um and so and i look forward to seeing all of your comments and please make sure that you subscribe to my channel and that you also um, click the bell up above so you don't miss any future videos have a sensational day and until next time.